it that can be working at the same time as a highlight okay. because uh, we need a very luminous skin and we don't want to use shining powder so how to achieve that look yes. of course this is a concealer so the concealer we cover the dark circle and all that stuff all the imperfection and as a highlight we put it in the center of the phone okay. in the center of the cheek and we're going to create kind of heart you know you're going to put just in the inner side of the brow and we're going to put like a heart until the this, this. as you can see with the bronzing powders if we put high light in the front of the of the with front, the bronzing oh yeah the low light. light we have create a heart here and we want to create another heart in the dance okay. Okay. See the model look at the front and we follow the outer line we take a little product up in the center the cheek bone and then we blend it we just sparkle the outer and we never touch the center of the of the of the, of the color with the with this we put it in the center and never touch the center just with a clean finger all the outer part A lot of women used to say, if I paint inside the eyes, the waterline, my eyes look smaller. But then you have to paint like a dotting under the lashes to gain again the natural side of the eyes. Sometimes when, when you paint a black eyes, you don't know when you have to stop. It's like, okay, this is too much, this is not too much. Where is the sunny place to put the dark side on? Okay, you cut the color. Look up. And you follow between the lashes. Not, not in the beginning, not in the tip, not in the root, not in the tip, just in the middle of it. And you follow, you follow, you follow, you follow from root. Close. This is the sunny place. I need to do is blend it. You always need a dirty finger and a dirty <laughs> one.